Welcome to this section. We're going to be talking about NAFTA and steam cracking of NAFTA. So first we're going to define what's NAFTA, several types of NAFTA. It's kind of difficult to state just a single NAFTA as a product. There are several product specifications. And once we understand what's NAFTA, we're going to see how we treat it in order to get more interesting petrochemicals. For instance, ethylene, propylene, glutathione, and so on. Okay? So the interesting part of NAFTA cracking is that, as the name implies, we're going to crack those middle molecule size into a more shorter version of this. For instance, the 2-carbon ethylene, as stated before, 3-carbon propylene, and so on. This is very convenient because double bonds are formed here, so all the things increase in content with this process. Talking about steam cracking, we're going to see the three main sections. Actually, I like or prefer to separate it into two, but technically they are three. It's the hot section, as the name implies, we're going to have high temperatures, relatively mild to high pressures, in order to favor cracking of the molecules. So we want to crack, destroy them, bring these molecules and break them apart. Then comes the second part, which in my opinion is can be considered into the same hot section, is then treating with caustic materials, cleaning impurities, compressing, and then making ready for the next section, which is the cold section. What happens in the cold section is nothing more than, as the name implies, cooling of the several cuts in order to favor demethanization, meaning that we remove methanes, then we remove ethanes, then we have C2, C3 splitters, we have C2 splitter, which essentially separates ethylene from ethane, and we have C3 splitter, which separates propylene from propane cuts. We finish with the buta or the butanizer, separates all the other cuts and send it to another place. So now, whenever you have any doubt, this is one of the most important processes in the industry, so please ensure that you understand what's happening, try to identify the products. It's very important. Identify the raw materials, which is NAFTA, and identify the final products. Where do we get them? Typical quantities and why are they so important? Later on, we're going to see how we treat each individual, let's say, main product of steam cracking in order to favor other petrochemical processes.